Hello, welcome to Souls Intersect. This reading is for Aries Sun, Moon, or Rising Signs, and it is for March of 2017. I will read through the cards first. So from the top left, we have the King of Pentacles, the Fairy Stallion, which is like the chariot in this deck, the Shadow Dance card, which is like the devil in this deck. Then in the center, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, and on the bottom, the Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Okay. Right off in the center with the Nine of Wands, I feel that you are at the end of a very long journey or even something that you may perceive as a battle. I also feel like it's something that you've been putting a lot of work into and something that has caused you to almost shift your your spiritual beliefs or your at the very least your perception of something. So whatever this journey has been or this fight, this battle, you've actually you're, you're nearing the end of it and you're really coming out a changed person. For some of you, this could have been triggered by a big change like a breakup or a change in location or job or something along those lines. And it may, or it might have just been something very minor that happened where the energies just seem to shift for some reason. Looking at the Fairy Stallion and the Shadow Dance together, I'm getting this sense of, and also that Nine of Wands energy, this sense of feeling stuck. So although you're at the very last leg of this journey, you're not sure you can finish. And the message is definitely that you can. In this Nine of Wands depiction especially, it has that Phoenix symbolism, so emerging from the fire renewed and that's also exactly why this has been happening to you so although especially at the mental level you have all these swords at the bottom and I'll come to that in a second but for you especially at the mental level if you're feeling stuck I feel like it's probably you getting in your own way in a sense and it is very powerful being two major arcanas so again, the fairy stallion is the chariot, and it has to do with that movement. The shadow dance is the devil, and it has many meanings, but it usually really embraces the idea of power in some way, power struggles, and in this case, I feel like it's you, again, kind of getting in your own way. Also, with the high priestess being the other major arcana in the reading, I feel like there's a connected message there, which is that one way to alleviate this getting in your own way, which again is probably very mental, is rising above it. And for those of you who resonated with this idea of something recently having changed your spiritual beliefs or your perspective on something, go to that place. When you feel like you're stuck and getting in your own way, try to come back to and focus on any new perspectives that you've had recently, and for some of you, it's likely to be a spiritual perspective. That's where your healing is. That's where your renewal is. That's where your ability to move forward and, and complete this journey is. I see it also connected to the Six of Swords. You even see, I think it's birds in the, in the, and then butterflies in the High Priestess, but there's a similar energy, especially in the, that top left corner of both cards. And the Six of Swords in other decks is that card where you see usually two figures on a boat transitioning to something else. But it's also very healing because of the water and very much about renewal and recovery. So it does carry movement. So I feel like trying to get unstuck or trying to create movement where maybe you feel like there isn't movement is going to be found in going to that place of renewed perspective 
and then working the six of swords into that it also feels like it just feels very linked to that high priestess where it's more at the mental and spiritual level where you're going to access the ability to move things where right now it feels like there's inertia so I'm seeing you rising above, similar to the birds and butterflies, trying to zoom out mentally, trying to let go, unlink from some of the more lower energies or the, the things where the limiting kind of thinking, it's very related to thinking. So trying to rise above to get through the last leg of this journey. And, and remember also that this journey could be figurative, though for some of you it may be literal. Now, looking at the two court cards with the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles, two things. I feel that you're represented by the Queen of Swords. It's speaking to what is happening with you mentally. It's confirming that you're in a place where you may be mentally blocking yourself right now, but you have the ability to do just the opposite. So you have a very powerful mind. I just get the sense that you need to shift gears in terms of how you're viewing something. It does feel to me like there's something emotional that's getting in the way as well. Probably linked to something from the past. The queen, regardless of the suit, is very watery in some ways and very intuitive and very able to tune into the emotional. And that, next to the Six of Swords, is hinting at something, again, on the emotional level that requires healing. I do sense some heartbreak coming through for some of you. I feel that that may be in relation to this King of Pentacles figure. I just got the message that for some of you, this King of Pentacles could actually be someone who's passed away. And... That could have been a partner, it could have been another family member. And that seems to be why there may be some feelings of heartbreak for some of you and also a sense of inertia. And it could be linked to whatever this journey is or this, this battle. It could just be getting through the process of dealing with someone passing. The journey could be the, the grief itself. It could also be maybe something legal that's linked that, that has been really drawn out. And it could even be, again, literal for some of you where it's actually caused you to go on some sort of journey, uh, maybe to uncover something about this person uh, by visiting certain places where they were or even like reading through a journal of theirs or something like that. I, that seems to be part of what the journey is, but with the Eight of Pentacles coming through, it does feel like there's been not just figurative stuff for a lot of you, like actual logistical work and battling, fighting something, trying to get like something logistical. It feels like I'm getting lots of messages, so some of it is very legal. Some of it could be work even related to something like going through someone's journal because I see people flipping through things, trying to discover something. Um, some of you also may be doing research. That's something that's coming through. And the High Priestess, very spiritual card, but can also be kind of this librarian figure, someone who is an educator as well. So that is something else that was coming through. And that may, may or may not be linked to someone having passed away. It could be that regardless, you are doing some kind of work. And I do sense that it, it may be research for some of you. That could also be where the things on the mental level are coming through. If this is like in relation to a master's thesis or a PhD dissertation or something like that, there is sometimes that point that you come to at the last leg of the journey where you feel stuck and feel like you can't move forward. I feel like that's something that's, that's coming through for some of you. The King of Pentacles may also be an advisor, if that's the case. And if it's not academic, it could be something similar 
related to a work project, that that kind of journey. The King of Pentacles feels to me like, if this is someone who's living, I get the sense that they're getting in your way a little bit with this, or their energy is. So they might not have a bad intention of trying to hold you back or prevent you, but I, I sense that they have impacted your confidence on some level or just their the pace that they work at seems to to be like seems to me that it may be slowing you down in some way both the high priestess and the two of swords also have that element of going within and blocking out or at least lessening the like stimulus from around you anything that your five senses work to bring in trying to quiet that stuff down and going within and tapping into your inner source of knowledge and enlightenment. So one final thing about whatever this journey or this path is, it may actually be that right now you may need to take a break because although I think you have the resources and the ability to stop getting in your own way and to refocus and see things from a new perspective. It seems like part of what might help you access that and gain the ability to do that is to stop, to experience real lack of motion. It almost feels like it would be a good reference point for you to feel that lack of motion so that you can realize that things are moving for you and that you can easily tap back into the motion, the movement, the ability to move forward with re renewal and regained energy to, to finish the last leg. All right, Aries, so I'm going to wrap it up here. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. And I will post the address to my site. If you're interested in booking a reading, you can do so there. Take care. Thank you.